Hello, for here. How are you today? I hope you are happy, fine, okay. Well, uh, today we start, welcome back. Today we start the second part of the year. Yes, I need you with more energy. Yes, okay. Well, um, today we are going to check holiday homework, pages from the quadernillo, pages from the activity book, and remember you have to hand dig in PDF the two compositions, composition number one from the list, from the quadernillo, of course, composition number one and number two. Uh, today we're going to go to unit eight, C, D, E plus the review. So these are pages 98, 99, 100, 101, and 104. Remember, we are going to all the vocabulary that I explain and we highlight must be in the notebook from the la A a la Z, from A to Z, okay? Todo puesto ahí, okay? Is it clear? Acordate. Palabra, an example. A word plus an example, yes, okay? By the end of the year, you will have all the words in your notebook of the la A la Z, okay? Well, type of holidays, travel problems, company nouns, travel or trip, nota. Next class, you will have the review on unit eight, so it means that you have to study notificadores. As a homework, you, ha you have to have a video of three minutes, a three minutes video, telling a midsummer night dream, yes? Number two, you have to do the writing on page 101 from the class book, yes? This is from the class book, okay? It's a message, a text message. Yes, I will explain and everything. Yes, exercise four, page 101, 75 words, yes? And pages 64, 65, and 66, and also 67 from the activity, okay? So can we go to the pages because we have a lot of things today, yes? Remember to put a tick or a cross if it is okay. It's very important that you check the activity, the quadernillo and the activity book, okay? Well, this is... Let's go to the activity book first, okay? Page 60, page 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. Are you there? Okay. There we go. There we go. Exercises one and two, yes, okay, one and two. Number one, riding, number two, playing, number three, visiting, number four, going, number five, hiking, number six, lying. Exercise two, trip, traveled, journey, journeys, trips, journeys, journey, six, travel. Exercise, there you have the difference, vocabulary, extra, journey, trip, and travel. Today I'm going to show another chart as a review, yes, with the difference between trip and travel, yes, okay? Well, uh, let's go to page 60, page 60, 61, sorry, 61. Um, we have all the page there, okay, exercise five, yes. Okay, flying, number two, buy, to buy, number three, finding out, number four, to decide, number five, speaking, number six, relaxing, number seven, to go, and number eight, staying. Exercise six, okay, are you there? One, traveling, two, going, three, to take, four, to go, five, to see, yes, Five to see, six getting, seven waiting, eight flying, nine looking. Yes, um, remember to do these exercises, you have to study verb patterns, verbs that go with ing, 
2 plus infinity. Okay, is it clear? Yes. Good. Uh, exercise 7. Yes, okay. Mentioned 2. Wanted 3. Happy 2. 4. Imagine 5. Get tired of 6. Worried about and 7. Looked forward to. Yes, exercise 8. I expected to see my uncle. Enjoy. We enjoyed going to the museum. Three. The guy was really good at ing explaining things. Four. Can you afford to infinity to live here all year? I rarely plan to visit new cities. Six. We refused to stand blah blah blah. Seven, I hope to come, blah, blah, blah. Exercise nine, stop and try. A ver qué tal te fue ahí. Number one, worrying. Yes, okay, stop worrying. Number two, to have. If we see a nice bar, we stop para hacer algo. Te detenes para hacer algo. Okay, number three, I usually remember to pack. Okay. Number four, I remember visiting. Ahí es con ING porque recordás en ese momento eh, la acción que hiciste. I remember watering the flowers when I was a child, for example. Yes? And then the other is I remember to finish my plans yesterday. Yes, okay. Number five, to find. Yes. Number six, I've tried doing. An online course. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. Let's go to page uh, 62. 62. All right. Good. Number one. You can. Two. Go on a tour. On a tour with a local guy in blah, blah, blah. Three, go up in a hot air balloon, blah, blah, blah. Five, go sightseeing in the old town, town in Prague. Number six, take a walking tour in London. Exercise two, Western, Navajo families. Three, because the trip to Monument Valley is all about the scenery. Number four, since the 90s. Number five, in the last few years, airlines have been adding more flights and more connections. Number six, in tomorrow's article. Yes, exercise three, four and five. Yes, from the other page, from page 63. Okay, exercises three, four and five. Good. I've been walking, been, I have seen has been telling, has met, have been taken, has just run out. Four, have been waiting, have paid, have been exploring, have found, haven't had, have been sightseeing. Exercise four, I have been lying on the beach all day. Two, we have been traveling since seven or we have been traveling for eight hours. The two possibilities are okay. Three, we've been coming here for 10 years. Four, I've been reading this book since I arrived. I've been driving blah, blah, blah kilometers. Six, we've stayed in the three hotels these holidays. Yes, exercise five. How long, questions with how long, how long have you been lying on the beach all day? How long have you been traveling since seven o'clock or for eight hours? Remember the use of since and for. How long have you been coming here for 10 years? How long have you been reading that book since I arrived? Yes, okay, well done. Let's go to the quadernillo. Yes, pages from the quadernillo. Bye bye activity book. All right, so this is done. Let's go to page eight. Yes, page eight from the quadernillo. All right, good. Okay, so 
I will go there. Page um, seven. Eight, sorry, eight. There we are. One. B. What are you waiting? C. He doesn't know. D. I'm having. E. Do you live? Is ha what is happening? G. Do you know? H. I'm having. I. Doesn't work. J. Are you doing? Two. Do you know? C. Are you doing? D. Are... Are you sitting? Yes. Okay. Good. Do we change train? Why are you wearing? Is David... We, um, is David staying with Tom? Is David staying with Tom? When does Kate come home? When does Kate come home? Three, doesn't like, doesn't drive, I'm not using. Page nine. Are you there? A, E, isn't having, F, doesn't, set, G, don't, H, is not, I, doesn't, Live. J. We are not waiting. Four. What time does the sun rise? What are you reading? Be careful with the order of the questions here. Yes. Sorry, I can't talk. I'm having with a bus. We don't watch. It's snowing. Are you talking? Do you wear? She builds. Five. Digging with double G. Taking. Deciding. Swimming. Double M. Remember you have consonante, vocal, duplico la consonante. Yes, for example, swim. Yes, you have. A, um, what is it? Digging. Yes, okay. You have the first one. D. Consonant, I, vowel, G, consonant, duplico consonante, double consonant. Yes, having, lying, reading, using, waiting, washing, riding, flying, studying and going. Yes, okay. Let's go to page 18, page 18, page 18. Are you there? Good. The first part is grammar, so I go to exercise one. Hasn't sunk. Sunk. Ojo con la tercera columna, eh? The past participle. Have you, uh, has your sister, has your sister written? I have had, has never seen, has stolen, haven't slept, have just broken. Uh, have just broken, hasn't won, have you ever eaten? Yes, okay, 19. Yes, you have A, B, I have gone. C, have written. D, have never eaten. E, have laughed, have broken, F, okay? So let's go to page 22. 22. Present simple, present perfect. Exercise one, okay? Good. He started, was, number four, hasn't stopped. Ojo con stopped, doble consonante, yeah? Where, didn't go, have thought, have learned, haven't stopped, started, has drawn, bought, was, 14. Have listened. Let's go to the other exercise. Four and scenes and blah, blah, blah. Four, half an hour. 
when number five four number six four number seven four number eight since number nine since number ten four number eleven since and number twelve when yes okay so let's go to page 23 23 come on yes okay good three you have one two are already done so we go to three where did you see it how many has she collected when has she seen has he seen superman have you seen seven has has he had it eight did you stop page 24 continue two how many cakes has he eaten he has eaten this is a very uh, good practice for uh, a, a mechanic practice for present perfect he has eaten five cakes how long has he eaten has he been eating present perfect and present perfect continued he has been eating how uh, four five blah 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 how long has he been eating he has been eating four mm -mm -mm. okay ten minutes okay and then okay he has how many walls has he uh, painted he has painted three walls how long has he been painting he has been painting for three hours he has caught two fish how long has he been catching fish he has been catching fish for five hours okay remember have been ing is present perfect continue continues i have been studying for five hours how long have you been doing your homework okay you have been doing your homework for three days for example yes is it clear but allow present perfect past simple present perfect simple or present perfect continuous okay david okay i've um this is number two i've not been waiting here for long number three did you get here what time did you get here the traffic was bad five have you been swimming i had a sailing lesson after work and i fell out of the boat how long have you been learning to sail i have been i have had four lessons yes or maybe there how long have you uh, learned yes how long have you learned yes all right no present pass uh, uh, present perfect continue because we are practicing the how long question with present perfect continue how many uh, have you uh, how many of how many times have you fallen yes out of the boat only one time and what about you have you ever done any sailing sorry what did you say i said can you say oh yes i can i did a lot of when blah 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 when i was younger so esa es la pista que te da para que contestes that you are that for you uh, to answer with pass i haven't eaten since lunch time i didn't have yes any lunch okay that was 20 page 24 so let's go to page 37 that is the last page and we can move we can move to the other part of the class okay good this is correct we have you have all the grammar here and you have from b to f page 37 that which you have to correct while i was uh, looking for my keys i remembered i had left yes i had left okay anna had used to play badminton when anna used to play used to play badminton when she was at school when i got into bed i fell asleep immediately e when i was 
uh, when I found, when I finally found the house, I knocked at the door. F, after Jill, ojo con el after. Cada vez que vos encuentres un after, highlight it. Entonces te recorda, recordas que vas a usar el past perfect. After Jill had given Nick his book, she went home. Bye bye, cuadernillo, and we go to um, pages from the book, okay? Pages with the dates on pages 98, 99, 100, 101, and 104. Dale. 99, come on. 98. Yes, 98. Hello, 98. Okay. 98, 99. Yes, 100, 101, and 104. Is it clear? Good. So, there we go. Yes, okay. Um, I will look for the pictures. Do you put the dates in all the pages? Okay, 98, 99, 100, 101, and 104. Okay, do many tourists, tourists come to your country? Uh, from which countries? What things, what do these tourists do? Activity holidays, backpacking, cultural sightseeing, ecotourism, or other holiday activities? Yes. What are the advantages of this tourism? Are there any disadvantage, disadvantages? So, we are going to do from these pages exercise two, three, four, five. Whenever you find a chart, I want you to highlight this chart with words. So we are going to do one, that is the talking. I will introduce uh, vocabulary using pictures you already know. Two, three, and then we're going to go to two, three, four, five, six. Y subrayenme por favor la parte de speaking, porque esto nos ayuda para cuando nos nutrimos con um, things, yes? Good. It's, Decide if it is good or bad, uh, if these activities are good or bad for the environment, yes? Because we are going to read what um, bad effects, yes? Holidays, yes? Have, yes? On uh, the earth, on the environment, yes? What impact on the environment? Um, which does your family do, yes? Okay? Uh, we have flying to distant holiday destinations, recycle waste, recycling waste, pa paper, glass, organic waste, traveling by car, switching off light and electrical appliances, saving water, yes, using eco-friendly cleaning products. Yes, okay, do you use eco-friendly cleaning products? I mean, products that don't hurt um, environment? Yes, okay, it's very interesting, yes, and um, if you have a green, if you live a green lifestyle, I want you to talk about this at home, yes, what things do you do, yes, to help the environment, what things do you do to live um, friendly, green style, yes, a green uh, lifestyle. Yes, pero eso subrayenlo a modo de que nos quede de ejemplo, yes, okay, uh, because we have already talked about recycling, yes, and things we do to look after the environment, yes, okay, so let's go, uh, we're going to talk about uh, the difference between travel, trip and journey, we're going to talk about type of holidays, we're going to talk about travel problems and um, everything, yes, okay, well, Whenever I, uh, I project a um, picture, you know, I always want you to talk at home about the picture. Yes, is it clear? All right, there we are. And then we are going to go to um, the, um, the reading and everything. Yes, this, I, I was thinking about this text because it's uh, very, very interesting, very interesting, yes, okay. Sorry.
So I was um, there. You have it. yes. Maybe you have um, questions about uh, what's the difference between trip, journey, yes, tourism, and travel. So there you have a very good chart. Yes, I found for you. Trip is a short holiday or type. Or, or time away can also be used to refer to a journey. Yes, you know, trip and journey are <clears throat> pardon, a bit similar, sorry. Journey, getting from A to B. Yes, okay. Is it clear? So, short holiday or time away can also be used to refer to a journey. That is a trip. Yes, okay. And getting journey is getting from A to B. Yes. Okay, and then you have, yes, you have tourism, the industry, industry of business providing accommodation, transport, etc. And then you have travel, uncountable, yes, noun, it's an uncountable noun, you can see there, okay, used to talk about traveling in a general way, okay? So if you have to choose the more general, you will choose travel, yes? Okay, well, then you have tourism, but you have trip and journey, yes? Okay, a short holiday or time away used to refer to a journey, yes? And journey, getting from A to B, yes? Okay, is it clear? Good. And um, you have another chart in the activity book. Yes, you have you have an activity there. Yes, okay. You have journey, travel, and trip. Okay, is it clear? So. That was a very, very nice exercise. So let's go to the other. And then you have another picture. Yes. And then you have another picture. And you have travel. Yes. I will make it there for you. Yes. Okay. Wait a minute. So travel means traveling in general. It is normally uncountable, and you have I love cinema and travel. The word travel used to talk about going from one place to another and can be used as a noun or a verb. Yes, you already know that. Yes, the plural travels is sometimes used in it means a broad exploration or traveling. Have you read the book Travels to the Pacific? So it is the word in general, traveling in general. Yes, is it clear? Okay, good. And then we go to journey. Yes, this is a very good chart I found for you. A journey is one piece of traveling. So you go from one destination to another. Yes, it can refer to a long distance or a short regular one, okay? So journey can refer to a long distance or short short distance okay is it clear good did you have a good journey the journey was very tiring it took five hours to get here is it clear yes okay how was your journey yes okay then we have trip yes okay i'm checking yes okay there you have trip. Good. So a trip is a return journey together with an activity or activities. Yes. A business business trip, for example. Business of pleasure is the reason for the journey. Yes. I'm going on a business trip. Can we take a trip to the zoo? Yes, it's a return journey. 
Yes, is it clear? Good. Note, we do not use trip for expeditions, which have a serious purpose and are hard or take a very long time to complete. Yes, okay, so trip is a return journey together with an activity. You can say a business trip, yes, or for pleasure. I went on a trip. I want to go on a trip. Yes, okay. Voyage, yes, is used to describe a long journey, usually by sea. Yes, is it clear? Good. A spaceship will take you on a voyage, voyage through space. And then you have tour. A tour is a journey where several places are visited and usually takes a place on take place on holiday. Yes, I will go on a tour, yes, and you visit different places of interest. Yes, okay. Uh, well, you have some uh, exercises there. Yes, but you have already done, yes, and you have the travel, voyage, tour, journey, or trip. Yes, but uh, these are some words that are confusable. Yes, okay? So remember, travel means travel, traveling in general. Journey is one piece of traveling going to one destination to another, from one to another. Yes? It can refer to a long distance or a short regular one, okay? Is it clear? And trip is a return journey, yes, okay? Is it clear? You can go on a business trip, yes? All right, then you have two, but well, you already know, but I think the, the more confusables are travel journey and trip, yes, okay? No, you have there. Yes, is it clear? So that's why it says uh, trip, short holiday or time away. Yes, okay. Acordate, el trip es cortito. Yes, okay. And then journey, getting from A to B. Yes, okay. My journey, yes, because you um, go from Formosa to Spain, for example. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Right. Okay. Well, so shall we go to, yes, okay, that was very interesting. But I want you to go to type of holidays. Yes, okay. So we have cultural holidays. Yes. You will choose, I want you to describe the pictures there. You have cultural holidays. Visit museums, visit art galleries, okay? Right? Yes. Museums like the Louvre Museum in Paris. Yes, people visiting uh, museums, yes, art galleries, yes, those are examples good examples of culture cultural holidays yes okay and then you will describe at home the pictures what can you see in the middle what can you see in the background but these are examples yes i look this picture for you because these are good examples of cultural holidays yes visiting art uh, galleries museums yes okay those are examples of cultural holidays Yes, castles, all right? So, let's go to uh, activity holidays. Activity holidays. Well, you know activity holidays. If you choose an activity holidays, you can do many, many sports. Yes, okay, like surfing. Swimming, 
any kind of water sports, any kind of water sports, yes, okay? So you will choose what kind of person you are, yes? And in this way, you will discover which is, which kind of holiday is the most suitable for you, okay? These are activity holidays, you can do different kind of water sports, yes, okay? You can climb, you can do climbing, kayaking, yes, okay, canoeing, it's rafting, yes, okay? Well, uh, more examples of holiday, activity holidays, yes, okay, cycling, yes, more example, examples, <laughs> examples of uh, water sports, canoeing, kayaking, rafting, yes, all right, so, um, up to now, we have cultural holidays, we have, um, this is kayaking, yes, uh, we have uh, activity holidays, yes, all right, well, so uh, let's go to backpacking holiday, backpacking, there we are, okay, you need two things, yourself and a backpack, you know, a backpack, and you are ready to have your backpacking holiday, yes, okay? That's all you need. I went on a backpacking holiday and I, it was amazing. Uh, it, you can't imagine how many things you can put in those rucksack, yes, okay? There you have more examples of backpacking holidays, yes. So, we have cultural holidays, backpacking holidays, um, activity holidays, and blah, blah, blah. Let's go to sightseeing holidays. Yes. Sightseeing holidays. Wait a minute. Hello, sightseeing. Okay. So, if you go to, uh, if you go on a sightseeing holiday, of course, well, uh, you will go to visit the different places of interest, yes, different places of interest, yes. You will go on a double-decker bus if you are in London, yes, and you will go sightseeing, yes. You need a map and go sightseeing. That could be a sightseeing holiday, is visiting the most, uh, the principal places of the city. Yes, okay. Oh, that's a very nice picture. Yes, okay. I went there, but it was in construction. Yes, so I couldn't enter when I went. So maybe I need to go again. Yes, okay. You go sightseeing on this double-decker bus. Yes, these bus are prepared for taking... In, have you ever seen in those films that... When they go sightseeing, they have just uh, a few hours and they have to go, 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 go very quickly to uh, the different places and then they have some minutes, only some minutes to uh, buy some souvenirs and then they go again, yes? Yeah? So it's a very nice activity, yes? Okay, go sightseeing to visit the most interesting places, the principal places. And the, the last one I have prepared is an ecotourism holidays, okay? In the ecotourism uh, holidays, you are in contact with nature, yes? So if you like nature, if you like looking after the environment, being in contact with nature, you can choose, this is the right kind of holiday, you can choose, yes, you know, because you can sit here, you can collect, Yes, most of the time you collect your fruit, you know, you use um, um, uh, materials that are recycling, recycle, recycling, recycle, yes, okay, um, uh, they are uh, made uh, by you most of the time, yes, so you use recycling material, yes, okay, uh, you know, you sleep there, Yes, in a tent, you put up your own tent, you sleep there in the forest, yes, okay. So an ecotourism 
can be defined as tourism to places that is designed uh, that are designed to the protection of the environment or at least minimize damage to it, often involving travel to areas of natural interest in develop developing countries or participation in environmental projects. The majority of the places you go can be part of projects, environmental projects. So if you want to um, live, if live uh, an eco-life, yes, you could choose this kind, you know, you plant, yes, your vegetables, you can eat the vegetables you, pl you have already planted, yes, okay, well they give you seeds and everything, it's everything prepared for you, yes, so uh, it could be a very nice idea, yes, but be careful with the mosquitoes, okay. Well, this was all as regards um, type of holidays. So the thing now is that you have to choose what what type of holidays holidays would you like to take and why? Yes, okay. Is it clear? And then yes, I want you to describe each picture. Yes, and say which kind of holidays would you like? Backpacking holiday, um, cultural holidays eco holidays, ecotourism holiday, uh, sightseeing holidays, um, cultural holidays and describe them, okay? And then we're going to talk about travel problems. What problems do you have when you are going to travel? Before or while you are traveling? So many things you have to take into account. For example, oh my God, don't forget, first of all, money and your passport, yes? Money, I think there's three things, the three more, more, um, most important things when we are talking about travel is don't forget the money, the tickets, and your passport. And then, yes, this, this look, you know, these things are, are uh, a very good summary of the things you don't have to forget. To lock the, the door, you know, have you, has it ever happened to you that uh, you are going to the airport or to the bus station and you say, have we locked the door? Have we turned on no, 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 the, the iron, for example? It, it happens to me, yes? Not, mo not all the time, but most of the time, yes? Okay, so don't forget the money, don't forget your ticket, don't forget the passport, your, your wallet, because you have all your ID there and lock the door. Yes, this is a very good example on the things uh, we have to take into account when we travel. Yes, okay. Well, and then I found another um, chart. Yes, okay. Uh, it was a kind of a list. Yes, and it says uh, transportation, transportation, you have to take into account transportation. Uh, uh, when you are going to travel, uh, time, yes, the route you will follow, yes, okay, uh, the prices, yes, if you are going to take sometimes a uh, cheap flight, and, or if you are going to combine cheap flight with uh, expensive flights, yes, okay, uh, packing, Yes, sometimes parking, we're going to go to this uh, a specific point then, but what to take and also what to leave behind, because this is very important, yes? And sometimes it's very difficult, yes? Okay, packing, because you don't know, sometimes it's difficult to know what to take, you have to take it clearly, what to take and what to leave behind, yes? Okay, um, well... Then you have the combinations with the, uh, with, the, with the flights, because sometimes you don't go to, straight to your point, to your destination. You have to uh, switch plane, planes. And uh, as an advice, more or less, you have to take a between flights between two and three hours, yes, just in case, yeah? And accommodation, the places you are going to stay, yes. Um, what places you are going to stay in, hotels, uh, cottages, 
um, um, hostels, yes, okay, health and safety, yes, okay, this is a very important thing, yes, okay, if you don't have a kind of insurance, uh, you should save some money for this specific point, okay, well, um, well, this is a very nice packing checklist I found that it was very nice. So all the clothing, uh, shoes, accessories, okay, uh, all the things that uh, are, for example, makeup, uh, creams, um, uh, makeup remover, these are specific for girls because uh, men don't take a lot of uh, things that we women take, yeah, so hair products, uh, hair dryer, yeah, sometimes if you go to uh, a cheap place, not a hotel, it won't have a hair dryer, so I took mine, for example, the little one, uh, well, all the things you need, yes, electronic things, I think this is the most important for you, because you, you, the first thing you will take is the cell phone, yes, and the charger, yes, okay, good, um, well, you know, problems. Let's go to problems now. Yes, spaces in. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying the first class. I'm, I'm talking about the economic class and the spaces. Spaces in general are very, very, very. Um, Twenty minutes. Yes. Yeah. Spaces in general are very uh, small, yes, okay. Then uh, another problem, okay. If your flight was cancelled, yes, or if you have to wait for the next one because you missed uh, the flight, oh my God, you, have, you will have to sleep at the airport, yes. Packing, we have already talked about packing, what things we should take. There is enough enough space because you know, this is empty. She wants to take everything. That happens to me, yes, because I need to pack my things and my two daughters' thing. And you know, we are women, yes, okay. Uh, well, you know, you lost your phone or maybe you missed a flight, yes, so you will have to buy tickets again yes okay your flight was cancelled yes okay so many this is a very very nice topic yes um you can say many things so at home i want you to try and put the um, the pictures again yes and talk about all the things I have introduced today, yes, kind of holidays, uh, problems you have, travel problems, and I want you to put all the words, yes, all the things that we have talked about in your vocabulario de la A a la Z. Is it clear? Yes, okay, because this is a very interesting topic. I really love it. Yes, okay, the difference between travel, voyage, uh, trip and journey, yes, okay, the type of holidays, prop, uh, holidays, um, the type of holidays, then uh, travel problems, yes, okay, so, um, then I have another thing that I want to show, I will show it now, so then we go uh, straight to the book, the activities in the book, yes, okay, um, wait a minute, Wait, 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 because you will need, this is, uh, you know how to write text messages, of course, but I will show you some uh, texting abbreviation. I have already given you, remember, a long paper, yes, that, a long copy that, uh, that had different abbreviation, and I told you, take it, because you will use it forever, yes, okay, because you, you don't know all the abbreviations sometimes you have to look for them yes but if you have if you if you are very good at uh, memorizing things maybe you have all of them in your mind 
but maybe not. So I have prepared more abbreviation because you need to write a short text. Yes, a short text. A text message. Yes, okay. And this is the last thing I'm going to project. And we're going to go then to the, um, the things there. Well, you know, you have all the symbols, you know, all the emoticons, yes. Okay, very happy, disgusted, amazed, glasses, cool. Well, you have emoticons now, yes, emoticons, yes, okay. That is a, a, a text message, yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow, great sale at tight fit clothes. Comma, come see our latest range before it's too late. So this is a very uh, good, good uh, example of a text message. Yes. And of course, on these shortest text messages, you will have to write one. Yes. About. Let me check. Uh, decide who to write, write a message of about 75 words describing your trip, yes? So you have an example there, yes, and a text message, and you will have to write a text message. You can use abbreviations about your uh, last trip, yes? Okay, describing your last trip. Is it clear? Well, and then you have, um, you know, more abbreviations, yes, you already have the copy, but in case you have lost it, yes, okay, BF, boyfriend, best friends forever, miss you, this is very common, please, yes, point of view, from my POV, your real time sis, sister, yes, suck to be you, <laughs> weekend, to be honest, Great, in my opinion, how are you? Yes, okay, you have all of them, you can put post. Yes, this is a, good, a very good chart, I found it on the internet because I select, as you know, I select many things and some of them are very useful, yes? And this is uh, today, tomorrow, tonight, in real life, just kidding, late, later, laughing, <laughs> well, my yes, off, well. Uh, laughing out loud, yes, okay, so these are some abbreviations you could use, you have already had the copy that I gave it to you, okay, well, that was all um, what I have to project, yes, okay, and I will go now to compound nouns, so when we go to the book, we are, um, we can continue, yes, and move. Yes, okay. So this is the thing I need now because I have prepared compound nouns. I will mix them. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, okay. Well, so we have this. We have this. All right, almost finished. Okay. Right. Well, so can we go to the book now? Yes, okay. There we are. Let's go, let's go, let's go to the pages. Yes, okay. So um, we have camping words. Yes, today. Camping words today. Uh, type of holidays. Uh, travel problems. Um, what else? Trip. Yes, trip. Voyage. 
journey. Yes, okay, let's go to the pages. 98, 100, 99, 101, and 104. Are you there? Good. So let's go to the exercises. Come on. Remember, I will say the answers, and then you have to stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay, good. Right. Good, good, good. Good. Exercise two from page 98 because one, we have already talked. The talking is already done with the presentation of the picture. Two, remember now is the time that you stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Um, let's go. Two, C. Three. Yes, okay. You have Patagonia. Then you have St. Milwaukee. Yes, okay. Uh, Magellanic penguins. Four, Everest. Five, about a thousand. Six, rubbish. Balearic Island. Thirteen million. Nine, the local environment. Yes, okay. You know, recently the government of the Balearic Island decided to charge uh, tourists an eco tax of two euros a day. This has been tried once before, but it wasn't a success. However, the challenges have been getting harder every year. The money from the tax is used to the re reduce, reduce the negative effects of tourism on the local environment. Because many people go to the Mediterranean uh, Sea, yes, and uh, they have to deal with different situations because uh, they throw rubbish, uh, they pollute the water, Yes, okay, petrol, um, uh, the, the waste of petrol, um, there must be electricity, the island must produce electricity for the people who live there and for the tourists. So, oh my God, 13 million tourists come, come from, yes, okay. Um, well, and the island has maintained the quality over years, yes, because if you go there, um, you can find virgin, virgin uh, places that you can, where you can go and practice ecotourism, for example, and it's a very nice place, and I think it's okay to um, charge the two euros a day. Now it should be more, maybe, yes? Because, you know, they need to maintain everything, yes, and, uh, you know, tourists, uh, uh, they live from tourism, but at the same time, uh, it is uh, damaging uh, the environment, yes, okay? I was talking about this because I lived there in Mallorca, and there, there were many, many, many beautiful places, but uh, really, tourists sometimes don't take care of the environment at all. Yes, they pollute the beaches, uh, they pollute the places where they go. Not everybody, but the majority, yes, okay? Many um, people from England, from the United Kingdom, uh, go there to um, have a good, to spend holidays, summer holidays, because they need the sun. You know, as in England, they don't have sunny day, enough sunny day, they need to go to a place where uh, the sun is. And um, Mallorca is not a very expensive place for them. Yes, okay. Well, uh, number four. Uh, in the middle of the last century. Yes, okay. Number two. Uh, cruise ship drop tons of waste into the ocean every year and each ship produces as much air pollution as five million cars cruises a uh, five million cars cruises visit the same cruise cruises visit the same places over and over again so the damage is repeated yes three cleanup teams have been organizing expeditions expeditions to pick up the rubbish 
left on the Everest. Number four, the government of the Balearic Island. Well, you know, uh, we have already talked about the eco tax of tax of two euros. Yes, charge to uh, every tourist. Yes, uh, to maintain the quality of the beaches, the roads, and the countryside. And the roads are in very good conditions. Yes. Number five. Okay. Number one, charge. You know. They will charge money if your luggage is over the waist limit. Yes, you already know that. Yes, charge. They will charge money. It means that if they charge you, charge you, you will have to pay more money. Okay? So you have to respect the waist limit. If not, yes, they will charge you. The airlines, yes, uh, will charge you. Um, um, money, yes, okay. Number two, rubbish. Number three, equipment. Number four, ch challenges. Number five, ecotourism. And number six, pollution. Yes, okay. Uh, good. So let's go to the true or false. Remember that you have to do the activities, pause the video, and then listen to the answers. One false. Two true, three no info, four no info, five no info. Yes, okay? So uh, let's go to uh, pages 100 and 101. Yes, okay? So have you ever had any travel problems? Okay, so as we have already talked about because of these uh, things, we are going to move on the activities. But the only thing that you don't have to forget is to highlight the words Yes, baggage, yes, boarding, car hire, uh, flight delays, passport control, all the common words you have there. Here at the back, in the background, yes, at the background, you have more, in the background, you have more examples, yes, okay? Some of these examples, okay? And you have the common words there, you have there, yes, so we have already talked about problems, yes? At home, you have to take some minutes, Maybe you can pause the video, organize yourself, describe the pictures, and talk about uh, problems. What problems? Have you ever had problems, travel problems? Which one? Yes? Okay. Uh, any of the guide? Yes? So we're going to go to exercise two, dealing with problems. We're going to do exercise two and three. There are the listening. Are you ready? There we go. Read it first. Unit 8D. 1. I wonder if you could help us. Our luggage hasn't arrived. Right. Are you with Sunny Times Tours? Yes. Uh, Mr and Mrs Cameron. And which flight were you on, Mrs Cameron? The fast jet flight from Manchester. I think it's FJ2498. We've been talking to some of the other passengers and then... Okay, the name of your flight is... The, the number of your flight is very important and it is in the ticket. Yes, okay? And it is always highlighted. Yes. Well, maybe the person who se sells the ticket highlights it or maybe you can highlight it. Luggage has come through. No they problem. circle it. I play it again. To you on, Mrs Cameron. The fast jet flight from Manchester. I think it's FJ2498. We've been talking to some of the other passengers and their luggage has come through, no problem. Ah, uh, yes. It seems some bags have gone to another airport. Flight at... So, this could be a very common problem. It happened to me once, yes, that my luggage, yes, were, were sent to another airport and they must be sent to, uh, in, in my case, in, to Mar del Plata. So I have to go to baggage reclaim, yes, and uh, write, a paper, write on a paper, yes, what uh, did my bags have and everything, yes, 
so some people i at uh, that moment i pay because i bought the um, tickets uh, with my credit card so uh it have a kind of uh, insurance yes okay so it was okay because that because when my luggage arrived they arrived late at that moment i remember i packed the most important things uh, in my handbag yes because i have a, a wedding a wedding um, in my little handbag the one that you can uh, take with you when you are on board yes okay and I, I remember I packed my shoes my dress yes and some uh, clothes yes women clothes yes okay uh, but not all but thanks God I have packed my the, 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 the dress I was going to wear that night in the wedding yes and my shoes and then I had to buy makeup again and many things again but at least I packed the most important thing yes that I needed to use yes okay because I have prepared the special a special dress for that occasion but the thing is that um, when the um, my uh, luggage came home I opened it and they had stored many things so I had to uh, write a message and call again and they pay me some dollars yes because they have lost some um, uh, things from my luggage okay so sometimes it, it's good to have uh, a kind of insurance J2498 yes that's right do you know which airport our bags have gone to Yes, I'm afraid the luggage has gone to Rome. Rome? Mm -hmm. well, how did that happen? I'm not sure, but all the missing bags are coming on the next flight. But when's the next flight? It's tomorrow morning. Don't worry, we'll arrange everything. Which hotel are you staying at? Your bags will go there directly. But all our summer clothes are in the suitcases. Two. Hello, Mr. Jones. Is anything wrong? Can I help? Well, it's about my wife, actually. She hasn't been feeling well for a couple of days. I'm sorry to hear that. Is it something she's eaten, do you think? Or just travel sickness? I don't know. She's had a temperature all night, but she feels cold. OK. Um, how long has she been feeling like this? A couple of days, yes since the boat trip on Tuesday. Is there anything you can do? Well, it's probably nothing to worry about, but I'll ask the hotel to arrange for a doctor, just in case. That's great, thank you. Okay, so we have two. One C, two F. Yes, okay. And then you have exercise three. You have to look at the expressions for dealing with problems. Can you remember problems? Can you remember to set what? So, you have to listen, rewind your video, listen again, and you have to say which one of these expressions the guy said and which one the tourist said, okay? I will go to the answers now. I wonder if you could help us, tourist. Is anything wrong? Guide, can I help? Guide, our luggage hasn't arrived, tourist. Uh, which flight? Guide, how did it happen? Tourist. Tourist, do you know where tourist? Uh, this is a uh, una pregunta indirecta. Se dan cuenta? Do you know where our bags has gone? Have gone. Sorry. Uh, when's the next flight? True. Uh, tourist. It's about my wife. Tourist. Uh, how long has she been feeling like this? Guide. Is there anything? Tourist. I'm afraid. Guide. Don't worry. Uh, guy, I asked the hotel guy. Okay, is it clear? So I want you to go now very quickly to messages. I have already um, shown you the abbreviations. You will have to pause the video. You have the abbreviation, abbreviations there. And now you have to do exercises one, two, one, two, B, two, D, two, E. And exercise four and five are the uh, four is the writing you have to write. Yes, okay. 
Is it clear? Okay, so one, two, B, V, E, and four is a part of the homework. Okay, now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay, good. One has come from British Bain, is now in London, to probably friends because she's she mentions her uncle in Edinburgh. Three people, fantastic, London, massive. Four, she's been shopping in Oxford Street, seen the chart, done the Harry Potter tour, had a boat trip. I haven't done the Harry Potter tour. Maybe I have to go again. Yes, okay. Well, number two. B, finally, finally made it to London after an 18 hour delay. Oh my God, 18 hour delay in Bangkok, Bangkok. Yes, okay. Well, uh, E, yeah, so we have D, sorry. The city is massive and noisy. Two, I haven't got any theater ticket because the theater was fully booked. Three, I've been visiting the tower in London, it's, the London is scary. Four, it took lots of selfies, I took lots of, lots of selfies in Oxford Street. Five, I can't understand the London accent, so, but I'm trying to, uh, you have to tune your ear when you go there. Uh, the first uh, day, you say, I, I can understand, and then the second day, your ear will be tuned. Yes, I'm trying to understand the London accent, but I can't. I have a text from Joe. She's arriving on Sunday. Yes, uh, exercise E. Weather wet and very cold. Two, been touring typical places, exhausting. Three, people here very kind and have helped a lot. Remember, um, when you make, when you write short messages, you can leave the kind pronouns um leave behind some auxiliaries is it clear number four pigeons everywhere two photos five not uh, heard from anton yet six getting bus to edinburgh cost flying expensive yes okay and articles too because she didn't put because they're flying is it clear so remember when you make short messages when you write short messages you need to you can leave behind pronouns, you can leave behind articles, uh, you can leave behind auxiliary verbs. Is it clear? Right. Well, so let's go to the last page that is on page 104. I want you to do exercise one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. From one to seven. Is it clear? Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. I will go to the answers, all right? Don't cheat. Number one, didn't travel. Number two, chart. Charge. Number three, form. Number four, to provide. Number five, expanding. Number six, having reached rising. To go, to book, having struggling. Have been making. Okay, exercise two. People didn't travel for pleasure very much. Now they do. Foreign travel was expensive. That is a real thing. Yes, it was very expensive. Nowadays, more people can travel because it is expensive. It continues be, being expensive, but it's not so expensive. Yes, now it is. And a holiday maker used to prefer booking trips with travel agencies. Now many people make their own plans online. Yes, okay. Two, uh, because incomes rose and ordinary people started traveling for pleasure. I offer organized educational and cultural tours that appeal to people. In recent years, many mm, millions of ordinary people now expect to have at least one holiday a year. That is true. Yes, okay. Um, exercise that was my daughter that was my daughter okay exercise five yes okay one two three four 
Well, in exercise four, have you ever been to places like this on holiday? A beach resort, a cultural center, a natural park, natural park, a safari, a theme park. I want you to highlight them. And if, if there is one that is very new, yes, put it there, write it there with an example in your, de la la Z, cuaderno de vocabulario. Yes, okay. Baggage allowance. I will check this pronunciation because allow, yes. Let me check, please. Allowance. Allowance. Yes. Allowance. Allowance. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for the teacher. Okay, ba baggage allowance, yes. Boarding car, costume checks, flight delayed, passport control, travel sickness delay, yes. Custom. Custom, yes, okay, well that was okay. I guess I, I'm checking, blah, 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 blah. This is a vocabulary that you need to know because when you travel, it's very necessary, yes? Okay, and um, well, which, is, which of these activities would you do in a seaside resort, a big city, a natural park, or a campsite? Give your reasons, okay? So, be active, go sightseeing, have new experiences, learn new things, spend time with friends or family and take it easy. You have to choose a place and speak at home. For example, if I go to a big city, I will go sightseeing, I will have new experiences, I will be very active, I will, be, I will learn new things, I will visit museums. Uh, if I go to a natural park or a campsite, I will take it easy. I will relax, I will start, uh, spend time with my family, yes, okay? You have to do like this, exercise 7, 1D, 2G, 3A, 4H, 5F, 6B, 7C, 8E, okay? Well, so we have done many things in this class. This is one of my favorite because um, I talk about my favorite thing that is um, traveling, yes, okay? And um, I hope you can, um, you uh, could understand all the things I have introduced today. Many of them are words maybe that you already know, or maybe words that you already know, but some of them are new. So remember to put all the words in the vocabulary uh, notebook, okay? Bye-bye, welcome back. Um, welcome to the second uh, period of the year. Uh, I need you with a lot of energy, okay? Bye bye, for here. See you next class.